Hello, you guys. Today I have a sew along for you. Many of you have been asking, Anita, when is the next sew along? <laughs> so today is the day. We're gonna be sewing this cute fit and flare dress that you see on either side of me. And we're gonna be using McCall's 8138. Now, if you missed the pattern review that I posted here on my YouTube channel for this pattern, I recommend you go back and watch that video first because that's where I share all of the information about the pattern. I give you information on how to determine if the knit that you wanna use for this dress has enough stretch. I also talk about the notions we're gonna be using, the zipper. I give very inf important information about the zipper. And then I give you a little fashion show at the end so that you can see what the dress looks like on the body. So go back and watch that video first. If you do not know how to sew, this sew along assumes that you already have basic sewing knowledge. So if you don't know how to sew yet, then I recommend you go and check out my new course for beginners. It's called Learn to Sew, Mastering the Basics. And that's where I teach new beginners, those who have never touched a sewing machine before, how to master the basics of garment sewing so that you will be able to sew a wardrobe that you are happy with and that you will be proud to wear out in public. There is a link in the description box below so that you can get on the wait list. The course is opening again in June, depending on when you're watching this video. If you are on the wait list, you will have the first opportunity to enroll before I open it up to the public, okay? So get on the wait list. Go watch the pattern review and come back here and let's sew along. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with our prep work. I have interfaced the center front opening for the zipper. Now, if you are sewing view A, where the zipper is at center back, it's the same process. But from here on out, I'm gonna talk about the center front. So using piece number one, I cut my interfacing and you should have transferred this rectangle onto your pattern, onto your fabric using the pattern piece then you will interface or use that, that triangle to center your interfacing onto the front. And then you can tra transfer or trace that rectangle onto the interfacing. Now you will notice that there's an extra line here and I created that center line to make sure that I have a center front line to cut through so that it's symmetrical, so that the opening is in the right place. So what I did, this is a half inch rectangle, okay? And I just measured over a quarter of an inch to make sure that we are centered. And then just use your marking pencil to draw in that center line, okay? Next, you wanna make sure that you also stabilize the shoulder area on the dress back. And I used stay tape or you can use clear elastic. So cut a strip of stay tape or elastic, the length of the shoulder, and then you want to install it by or using a basting stitch along the stitching line, okay? Also, you want to make sure that you prepare your hem area for the skirt and for the sleeve. So what you will do is cut a strip of interfacing the width of whatever hem allowance you're gonna use. So if you're using a 5 8 inch hem allowance, cut your strip 5 8 7 inch. If you're using a one inch hem allowance, cut your interfacing one inch and then fuse it onto your hem area. I won't be doing that because I'm leaving my hem raw because I like this fabric or I like that it doesn't ravel and the length was perfect for me when I made this dress the first time. So go ahead and prepare your hems. Now you can either do this before you sew the seams or you can wait until after you sew your side seams on the dress or before or after you sew the seam on the sleeve. It's up to you. Okay, let's see. Next, we want to prepare our zipper. Okay. So you can see there's a white strip here. I'm using wash away wonder tape from Dritz to 
apply this sticky tape. It's double-sided sticky tape. And I'm gonna use this to position my zipper onto the center front to make sure that it's properly placed before I stitch. So what you're gonna do is, oh, before I do that, I wanna show you about measuring for your zipper. So remember in the pattern review, if you watch that, the zipper, the nine inch zipper was too short. So here's what you're gonna do. Fold your collar in half with the wrong side facing out so that you can see that interfacing. And then we're going to measure over 5 eighths of an inch and we're going to overlap 5 eighths of an inch of the collar and the dress at the neckline. Okay, so let's measure 5 eighths and that's about right there. And then what you're gonna do is take your zipper you're gonna open it out and then fold the zipper tape onto itself. Okay, looks like this shifted a little bit. Let me make sure I have five eighths of an inch. Okay, and then you're gonna take your zipper and fold it over onto itself and you're gonna place it at the top fold of the collar and then measure it down to the stitching line at the bottom of that rectangle. Then we're gonna measure with our ruler from the top, from the top of that fold down to the end of that rectangle. And as you can see, that's 10 inches. So I'm gonna extend my zipper down one inch to make an 11 inch, 11 inch zipper. And when I cut my zipper, I'm gonna make sure that I'm cutting in between the metal teeth. Okay, so now we're going to place our wonder tape onto the zipper tape. So what you're gonna do is cut a strip the length that you need for your zipper and you're going to press it down onto the zipper tape and finger press it, okay? So we're finger pressing this down onto our tape Then we're gonna remove our paper backing. And sometimes this part takes a minute to actually get it peeled away from the, from the tape, from the sticky tape. Okay, so there it is. We're just gonna pull it off. Make sure that it's sticking and it is. So there we go, we have our zipper prepared. Okay, now we're ready to cut open our center front. So we're gonna make sure that we're cutting right along that center line that we created. And we're gonna cut all the way down to that triangle, to the point of the triangle. Right there. And then we're gonna cut diagonally to the corner of the rectangle on both sides. Okay, so our front opening is prepared and here we have a little triangle flap and you'll see what we're gonna do with that later. Okay, before we attach the zipper, we need to attach our collar. So first we're gonna sew the front and back together at the shoulders. So I'm gonna pull over my back piece here and we're gonna fold that over. So we're gonna pin together our front to the back at the shoulder seams. Matching your notches. And you will notice that the front piece extends beyond the back piece. It's okay, it's supposed to be like that. Here is the stitching line. And if you notice, the stitching line meets or the two pieces meet at the end where the stitching line is. So that's supposed to be that way, don't be alarmed. Okay, now we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch a row of stitching from one end to the other on the shoulders. And remember, this is stay tape. This is to prevent the shoulders from stretching while you're wearing the garment. So it's okay to insert 
a straight stitch on the shoulders. For the rest of the dress, we will be sewing a zigzag stitch, but you can use a straight stitch here. Okay, so we've sewn our front and back together at the shoulders. We have our collar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin the collar to the neckline using the notched edge of the collar. So, let me turn this around. And I'm gonna start where the notches are and match the collar notches to the notches on the, the dress. Okay, then I'm just gonna match up the edges and we're just gonna continue pinning all the way around the neckline to attach the collar. Now, there are dots you should have transferred onto your collar on the notched edge. You're gonna match those dots up with the shoulder seams. and continue pinning. And after you have inserted or attached the collar to the neckline, we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and we're just gonna stitch a zigzag stitch from one end to the other. Okay, we've attached the collar to the neckline. Now we're going to trim away some of the seam allowance before we press. So I'm going to cut a bit, I'm going to cut away about half of the seam allowance.
being careful that the rest of your dress is away, <laughs> away from the seam allowance. So keep your hand underneath to make sure you're not cutting through your dress. Man, I've, I've made some mistakes like that in the past before and whew, it's painful. <laughs> it's very painful. Okay, so we're gonna go to the pressing station and we're going to press the seam allowance up toward the collar all the way around. Okay, so I have attached my collar and I've pressed it over and pressed up the hem. At this point, we're gonna attach the zipper. So I've shortened my zipper as you can see here. Now for me, I've left this long extension until after I attach the zipper and I'm gonna use fray check. So after I install the zipper, I'm gonna cut some of this off and then I'm gonna use fray check because you can see how the edges are unraveling. So after I cut, I'm going to use the fray check to prevent that from continuing or you can use a scrap of your fashion fabric and you can just wrap, after you have cut the length that you want, you can wrap it around and then just stitch across on the top and the bottom and then on the back also. So you can finish off the edge of your zipper however you choose if you are using the method I used. I just removed the teeth from the bottom of my zipper and then I used a thread tack by hand. I just stitched back and forth by hand with thread to prevent the zipper from going off track. Okay, so that's my stop, I created one. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to open up the collar and you can see we have, we have this fold. That's gonna serve as the guide to, to tell us where to start or where to place our zipper stop on the top. So I'm gonna open out the zipper and then we're gonna turn it with the wrong side up and we're going to attach the tape with the teeth um, pointing in toward the garment. And we're gonna take our tape and fold it over onto itself. Make sure that you're folding it down really tight so that your teeth are at the, or the zipper stop is at the very edge. Okay, and then we're gonna place that right along the fold, right at the fold and along the edge, the raw edge. So the raw edge of the garment and the edge of the zipper tape should be next to each other. Okay, and then we're gonna just press it down so that we're applying the tape onto the dress now. And because there is no sticky tape on the other side, well, if you want, you can put a piece of sticky tape there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a pin to keep that in place until we get to the sewing machine. And then we're gonna continue just pressing down, finger pressing so that the tape is adhering to the fabric. making sure that the edges are aligned all the way down. And then we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew this in place. Okay, so I have my zipper under my presser foot. Make sure that you are using a zipper foot. I am going to change the position of my needle so you can see where it falls right now. Where your needle falls will depend on how much of your zipper tape you want to show 
on the outside of your garment. So this time, I don't want much of my zipper tape to show, so I'm gonna move my needle position over to the right. About right there, close to the teeth, because I want more I want less zipper tape to show this time. So if you want more of your zipper tape to show, then you will position your needle further over to the left. If your sewing machine does not have the function where you can change the position of the needle, then you'll have to just move the positioning of your garment on your presser foot, on, on your machine. And my presser foot, the left side, I'm gonna use that as the guide as I sew. So I'm going to run that presser foot right, right along the left edge of my zipper tape and that will keep me sewing the straight line. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Now make sure when you sew over this seam that your seam allowance is pointed toward the collar and you can feel through to make sure. sure that my zipper is flat and that my garment, the other side of my garment, is not underneath the portion that I'm sewing. Okay. Okay, at this point, I need to raise the presser foot and slide my zipper up so that I can sew down further. Okay, now I'm gonna continue sewing down. And I wanna make sure that I'm sewing down far, far enough to where my stitch is gonna stop right around here, around the bottom of the triangle so that when we sew across, we will have fabric that we're sewing onto. Okay, so I can see my triangle there. I'm gonna lower my presser foot again. Turn that garment. And I'm gonna continue sewing. Okay, now another thing that I'm paying attention to is my zipper stop here because when I pivot this and get ready to sew across the triangle, I need to make sure that I am clear of the zipper teeth. So make sure that you sew down far enough to where you are clearing the teeth. Okay, so here you see I've sewn all the way down to where the teeth end, so I will be clearing the teeth when I sew across. And the stitching ends right along the bottom of that triangle, okay? Now let's go back to the pressing, or the cutting table, and I'll show you how we're going to sew the other side onto the dress front. Okay, so we have our zipper attached on one side, so we're gonna turn this over, and you can see where just the teeth of my zipper are showing. And you wanna make sure you test it to make sure that it zips all the way and you have not sewn too close to the teeth. Okay, and then, let me zip this all the way up, and then we're gonna fold over to make sure that we are right at the top of that zipper or the fold on the collar, and that looks good. And then when you turn it 
to the inside, you want to make sure that you have enough of your collar that will cover your seam allowance because after we're done, we're going to hand stitch this to the fold to your seam or to the seam allowance on the inside. Okay. We want to make sure that the inside looks nice. All right. So now we're going to attach our, the other side of the zipper to the other side of this dress front. So what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to take this zipper and flip it to the wrong side, flip it to the wrong side, make sure you can see this. And we're going to use the same process that we used on the first, on the other side. We're going to fold it over, attach it right at the fold, pin that in place, and then finger press the zipper tape down onto the dress front. Pressing that down and I'm going to bring this bottom portion out and press it down all the way down. Okay. And then you have this triangle. You want to make sure that that's down and that you are pressing that tape right onto the fabric. Okay. And then you're going to go to the sewing machine and you're going to sew from top to bottom using the same process that you used to sew the first side. Okay. This time I have moved my zipper over to the other side and I've repositioned the needle over to the left closer to the teeth. And this time I'll be using the zipper foot along the zipper teeth as my guide to keep a straight line. Okay. And if you find that your zipper tape lifts from the fabric, just press it back down. You'd be very careful as you're sewing along. I'm gonna pull my zipper, pull down. And at this point, I'm going to lift my presser foot and raise my zipper pull out of the way. Okay, so I want to make sure that my zipper tape is on the fabric. I want to make sure that I am ending my stitching at the bottom of that rectangle. Really take your time on this because it can be kind of tricky. So I want to end my stitching on the right side in the same spot as I did on the left side. Okay. Okay, so I have ended the stitching even, evenly on both sides. Now, this may take some practice. It, it takes very careful stitching. Slow it down, make sure you're taking your time. If you don't get it right the first time, 
then just remove your stitches and try it again. I do recommend inserting it with a basting stitch on the first round. And then if you get it right, then you can go ahead and sew over the basting stitches with a 2.5 length stitch. Okay, so now we're gonna go and sew this bottom portion to that triangle. Okay, before we sew the zipper to the bottom at the triangle, we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice press. So we're gonna make sure you use your press cloth because you don't wanna get any press marks or shine marks on your, on your garment. And just make sure that you have that folded out before you press it down. And I'm using the tip of my iron to press right along that fold on the opening. Okay, I'm gonna go right here at the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna go and attach the zipper at the bottom. Okay, so from the inside of the garment, you're gonna flip your zipper up on the bottom. Flip it up on the bottom. And then we're gonna go to the sewing machine and you're going to be sewing that little triangle onto the zipper. So you're gonna be sewing from one corner of stitching to the other corner of stitching right across that line on the bottom that you traced onto your fabric, okay? Making sure that the zipper is attached right at the bottom of that triangle. Okay, I still have my zipper foot attached and here is that line I'm gonna be sewing across. And the most important thing you want to make sure you're paying attention to is that your fabric is flat. You don't wanna have any folds because that will show on the other side. So you wanna make sure that wherever you're starting, and ending that that entire surface is flat, okay? So here is my stitching line. I'm gonna position it under the presser foot and I'm gonna turn my needle down to make sure I am catching the fabric, okay? And just take your time and go slow on this. Now my fabric is catching under my presser foot over here. So with the needle down into the fabric, I'm gonna raise my presser foot and press that fabric down under. Okay, I'm gonna lift it to make sure I am ending in the right place and I can go one more stitch and then I'm gonna back stitch okay so here is my zipper so i've attached it right across the bottom and there we have it if you don't get it on the first try just keep trying until you get it okay the zipper has been attached and I've applied fray check. I cut off the edges of my zipper and I've applied fray check to the edges to prevent any further raveling. And I just placed a piece of fabric underneath to prevent it from getting onto my garment while it dries. Okay, so now for the collar, let's unzip it. What we're gonna do now is 
fold the collar over using the fold that we pressed in all the way around and then you're going to hand stitch this all the way around. You're attaching the fold of the collar onto the bottom of the seam allowance all the way around. So you can use pins if you like. What you want to make sure is that when you are sewing it down to the edge where the teeth are that you're not getting too close to the teeth to prevent the zipper from closing. So when you get to that part you may want to close your zipper and then sew that onto the zipper tape to make sure that you're not getting too close. And then if you want, like I said, you can just use pins to anchor this down all the way around. So pin that all the way around and then use your needle and thread and sew that in place. After you do that, then we will come back and attach our sleeves. I'm going to show you the flat installation method or the flat lay method and then we will sew our sides together and we will be done. Okay, the collar has been sewn down by hand and that looks nice and clean on the inside. So now we're going to attach our sleeves. So let me see which sleeve I have. Now the most important part is to make sure that you are working on that you are using the right sleeve. So let's open this out. Okay, so here is my sleeve. I'm going to place it right side down. I have a double notch here on the back of the dress and a single notch here on the front of the dress. So if I place it right sides together, this is a single notch, so that wouldn't match there. So I need to turn the dress around to the other side to make sure I'm attaching the sleeve on the proper side of the dress. Okay, so we're going to use the flat lay installation method. And this is the method I like to use when I'm working with knits. You can do it with wovens too, but it, it's really easy with knits. Okay, so I'm going to pin the top of the sleeve cap using the dot matching it to the seam on the shoulders of the dress. Then I'm going to match this dot with the dot on the dress at the arm side. On this side, I'm going to match the dot on the sleeve with the dot on the dress. So you're just matching all of your markings and pinning the sleeve to the dress. I'm going to match my notches. Okay, now you will notice that we did not sew basting stitches. Usually when you're going to insert a sleeve with the inset method, you will insert basting stitches. And sometimes uh, people will do that with the flat lay method also. You will insert basting stitches and then um, ease in the sleeve cap to fit the dress or the sleeve, the arm side. I don't do that. What I do is I take this opening, the sleeve is larger than the dress, and I will take that and just press it down onto the dress in the center of that opening. And I will do the same thing. I can stretch that dress or the armhole to fit the sleeve cap, okay? And then I'll do the same thing on this side. So you see the extra fabric on the sleeve cap. So I'm just going to press it down onto the armhole. Same thing here. I'm going to press it down.
and over here I'm good and then you're going to continue doing that all the way around so when you go to your sewing machine you're going to sew your stitch all the way around attaching the sleeve to the dress and when you come to this area where there's puckering on the sleeve all you're going to do is stretch it as you sew okay just stretch it out as you sew okay so now all you need to do is go to your sewing machine and attach your sleeve to the dress <laughs> Okay, now that your sleeve has been attached, you can finish off your seam allowances with whichever method you choose, and then we're gonna sew the dress together at the side seams. Okay, now you will go and finish off your seam allowances. Okay, we have attached our sleeve to the dress. We've finished off the seam allowances and pressed them toward the back of the dress. If you will be sewing a hem, go ahead and press up your hem, and then you can sew that in place with whichever method you choose, either by hand or with the sewing machine. You wanna do the same thing to the other side of your dress and then you will be done. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how to attach a decorative pull, zipper pull to your zipper if you choose to do that. Okay, so to attach our zipper pull, this is the one I'm gonna use. I picked this up from my local Joann's Fabrics. So first we need to remove the pull that's already on the zipper. So I'm gonna use wire cutters and we're just gonna pinch one side of the zipper pull and snap it. And then we need to, well, let me turn that a little bit. I'm gonna bend it out. Oh, see, it just snaps right off. And we've removed the pull. Now we're gonna take our new pull and there's a notch on the side. What you're gonna do is press down and squeeze in and it opens. And then we're just gonna replace that. We're gonna use the flat nose pliers to close it. You can try to do it with your fingers, but it's sometimes it's hard and it hurts. So I'm gonna use my flat nose pliers and I'm just gonna grab the, oh, the metal part and push it in and there we have it. There's our new zipper pull. And I think it's cute. Reminds me of a, a bar of gold <laughs> with rhinestones.
thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this sew along. If so, make sure you hit the like button down below. And again, if you want to learn how to sew, check out my beginner's sewing course. There is a link in the description box below so that you can get on the wait list. And if you are loving my t-shirt, there is also a link in the description box below to my sewing merch store where you can get your own t-shirt, this design, and there are others there. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.